This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at Lutheran Church of the Master for the world premiere of Captain of the Bible Quiz Team. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Deborah Puet. I'm a Los Angeles-based actress. I work in television, film, and theater. Oh, today I played Pastor Landry Sorensen. It's a one-person play, so that's the only one available. Landry is somebody who wants very much to have her father's approval. Um, she has found her own way, but has, because of, I guess, the grace of God, found herself back in her father's parish and um, has to decide, I guess, how to make her own way. And uh, it's a it's a play about faith and, and identity and homecoming coming and death and and a lot of things. If some of my viewers decide to come by and see this show, uh, what should they expect to see? Um, we should expect to see something that, uh, depending on what their faith bent is, you know, might challenge some of the things that they think. Maybe it wouldn't. It really depends on the individual. But I think Tom has written a play that tries to be fair to all sides and really asks the hard questions that we're being faced with today around why we discriminate against whom we discriminate, that sort of thing. I've been waiting for a play like this for a very long time that, I, that actually covers a very difficult topic. It covers a lot of things. I've been waiting for a I re And I remember seeing a show down in La Jolla Playhouse about uh, the guy who actually was Martin Luther King's... Um, he, he actually organized the campaign. He was actually gay and he was actually a Quaker, which is very unusual. And I now see why the peace movement was the way it was. It wasn't a violent movement because if black and white can live together, this gay Quaker managed to reconcile the, uh, his faith and his sexuality in a very peaceful way. Well, I mean, if you ask me, Jesus, that's what Jesus was all about. And I, so I, I side with Pastor Landry. Also, I was always wondering how Jesus would be welcomed in this uh, world if, you know, a guy who lived with 12 men, if a guy who lived with 12 men, yeah. well, how, how would the modern church really accept this guy? I mean, are you okay? I mean, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you live with 12 men and all that? You know what I mean? Well, Jesus was persecuted when he lived in, in his own time. I don't know that it would be that different now. His ideas about loving one another were very radical, and I think they still are somewhat radical today. Okay, well, thank you very much for being on the show. I, I enjoyed your performance. Thank you so much. It was nice to talk to you. Captain of the Bible Quiz Team will be playing at Lutheran Church of the Master from August 28th to October 3rd. For more information, go to www.captainofthebiblequizteam.com.